What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to round off of the last time, uh, we are being attacked by the Italian by the uh, new Spaniards once again. So the garrison of Crackers is going to be proactive and we are going to engage them in battle. So without further ado, let's crack on. So we definitely do a garrison force than they currently have. Uh, chiefly because we the Knights of St. John are likely to keep on with these amphibious assaults and I don't really have by some time by having my men occupy the ports but that's not quite what I'm after and this terrain's pretty bad so let's put some howitzers there well we're gonna march them up really we're not going to uh, go toe for toe on this one let's put my grenadiers on the left Get my cavalry, or well, the bulk of my cavalry on the left in the in more open parts of the map, but put some on the right just in case for support. So my gunners probably want to get up to about there at least. Everyone else just push up because it looks like they may. attempt to well they're not going they're not going to attempt to surprise us what I mean but what I mean is uh, we're gonna be uh, they're much closer to where we want to be um, than we are so my men need to run grenadiers and infantry alike Especially as they, well, they were running towards us, though I've changed their mind. Their gun teams are back here, a pair of demi cannons. So I'm back to setting my men up ahead of my guns, but that should be safe. Chiefly because guns do fire upwards slightly and they are on slightly elevated terrain. There we go, our left wing is getting into position. Colonial light cav is moving up. So let's move our cavalry up to intercept. Good, that scared them off. My guns. Okay, you can just unlimber. These guys will get themselves into position. Only two can unlimber. So I'm going to hold my cavalry. Okay, no. Engage. Set my grenadiers to engage as well. Turn off fire at will here. Push up one unit of infantry just to uh, hold ground against those guys. My gunners are in probably going to attack their guns my right wing Ooh, this is going to be dodgy my artillery is not going to have a very pleasant time you men push up to fill the gap because they probably gonna, the artillery is going to probably cause some friendly fire casualties here get these guys positioned here so they can fire on the 42nd. My grenadiers here are definitely going to tip the balance in our favour. I mean, our cavalry... The only real difference is that one of our units has a chevron of experience. You guys are firing when you shouldn't be. There we go, our front lines are... Well, our units are in. Guns are firing, although it looks like they got morale problems. Okay, let's take this wing here, push them up. The cavalry over here, push around the flank. This infantry here, just push up. These two units should beat 42nd, but they'll probably take some damage in doing so. OK, 
Okay, let's take my gem roll on excursion around the flank. Can you guys just run, avoid the infantry? Your job is to actually chase down routing units, not engage on the battlefield. Here come the native bowmen, native warriors also beginning to show themselves. But these guys should get some lovely kills against the first regiment of foot. These guys may as well get involved. Those guys might try and seek to get involved. Yeah, just keep killing the first. Okay, let's run a cavalry unit through the combat and into the units over here. Hopefully we can route this unit. So our cavalry can break through. Good. So then our line infantry run up and take firing positions. Our grenadiers hold back. Make sure both fire wheels are off. Our other unit is currently being intercepted by some infantry, or they're being chased by some infantry, so in which case... Push up across the board. Keep chasing down the first. Necessarily worry about native infantry. Instead, you chase down the. Actually, no, no, hold on. You carry on. You attack the demi cannons. Where's my general? He is here. Get him to nail it down towards us. Too bad about the sixth light horse. They might just flee until. We can push men around like so. You just run straight through. Get both our guns to hit the 30th while our cavalry run straight through. Don't need to be so efficient with how we lay our troops out. Yeah, so my general's going to get some good kills against the native bowmen, but not kill them super efficiently. My cavalry, actually, you can... Get involved in the main battle because my general here will take care of these native bowmen. Those men have broken. So let's keep pushing the left wing forward. Yep, the 38th. I'd be KG if I were you. The infantry are coming. These guys are not going to be very down. 
stop what you're doing probably come around like this or they are likely not going to be needed. Too bad about this friendly fire here. Push forwards. Push forwards. Push forward. Can you flee the front line? Let's be honest, you guys. Stay in a charge, turn off the artillery fire. You chase down the 40th, just keep moving. Push up my actual infantry line. I suspect the 10th will fall fairly quickly. Need to chase them down. Let's get my general over here. So the battle against the tenth. So guard mode off. Set them to uh, chase. There we go. They've been cut down to size. general to kill. Get my cavalry to chase their general's bodyguard while my remaining cavalry continue. So I want to try kill their general because they're right here. We might actually get him. He's not in this leading group, I don't think. There he goes. Okay, chase down the 38th. Come on, you can knock out this infantry unit. Now just to speed up time. The now it just becomes a game of optimizing your cavalry. You guys can chase those guys down, but they're probably not going to make it. The 38th are going to be destroyed. I may as well send them down to harry these guys just in case, because um, we know they're not needed here. The last guy. Chomp. And there they go. So that army's been pretty soundly destroyed. We can probably take you on like this to then just auto that battle. To wipe them out. Bring them back. Probably going to take a bit more cash. Yeah, 4,000. Uh, let's do some merging. Trying to keep like units reinforcing like units. Too bad this triple experience chevron guy is not going to do too much use. Not going to be that much use to us. There we go, we've merged sufficiently that we can now do that. Good. We're going to get 24 grand next turn, which we need to spend wisely um, because we are dependent on trade. We do have men up here in Quebec. What I'd like to do is push the army out here, push the army out of here, leave a unit in the port so I buy an extra turn of um, their response, and send these guys in to go and attack and capture Quebec. I do not want to take Paris out. I want there to be a buffer between us and Prussia. At least for the foreseeable future. And I, what I do desperately need is to make is to try and figure out why I can't recruit. 
top tier ships because it's not a technology problem it's not a naval college problem well it might be a naval college problem um but i can recruit everything up to first rate no not here uh, down here i can recruit admiral's flagship first rate ships of the line but the next actual ship of the line i can build is a fourth which obviously isn't good You guys are in dodgy shape. You guys are okay. Okay, one more turn to get Cadence marching. Again, not critical, but it's just a, Sevilla is just a college for now. Um, let's hit N10. So we want to maintain visibility in what the French are doing. We like to capture Paris, because Paris has a modern university. Uh, but right now, I don't have the economy to really fight against the Prussians. And then the United Provinces, you see they've got about six or seven stacks just sat around their city. That's going to be a difficult nut to crack. I was okay with this guy dying, it's just a light galley. La plaza è perduta. Good. They've not moved their armies from the city, from the garrison, sorry. The gar they've not moved the army that's currently embarked. But yeah, the Navy side really worries me because right now we are entirely dependent on the money created from trade. Like entirely dependent. If we lose our port, then we die. That's how delicate things are at the moment. Uh, no, no alliance with you, Russia. Sorry. So right now, expand... Oh, that's not good. I don't like seeing the Mughals send armies. But then again, we're trading. And we're friendly, so... I don't know. Hopefully they shouldn't feel the need to attack us. Okay, don't go on with diamond formation. Instead, go on to... Everything's quite... Technology's quite expensive now. You may as well go with diamond, I suppose, while we upgrade. You... Oh, they moved their ships. I oh, know they didn't. Okay, what's causing us problems then? The guns. I don't want. Oh, I really don't want to leave the guns behind. The pikemen. Pikemen aren't working either. Militiamen. Kick them out of the port while these guys march on the capital. Although, let's get some intelligence. Yeah, it's a full sit there's a full garrison in there. But I think we're up to the task. I mean, we don't have any howitzers, though, so that might become a siege problem. Well, uh, yeah, we might have to siege them and then just wait. What I do want to do is take these fellas. Do something like that. Then when these guys are ready, they can march down and start to engage these chaps near Bogota and push up towards Panama. Uh, our army's down here. In Nassau. Still replenishing. Pronti. In attesa di ordine. Put a brig to enable transport. I'm tempted to ship them to Mexico to try and capture that city. Or do I send them up north to help bolster this force up here? It's an interesting question. It's tempting to send them to go hit Fort Nashwack. Or even Newfoundland to help bolster my forces and chip away at the enemies. But first, <laughs> that was my discord. Uh, what I want to do is just stop the recording and cut that out because we all know how things... You know, I don't want to wind you guys up. Just one second. There we go. Problem solved. Now, probably want to hop back over to Europe. I probably want to take these four ships of the line, send them to go bolster my navy here, or at least as many as I can. Send them 
over. Is that you maxed out? It is. So we've now these two guys can stay and build up another fleet. Uh, can you guys leave Tripoli yet? Because right now we are at war with the Ottomans. But then again, they should have been neutered quite a lot by losing all this territory in the Balkans. Okay, what I'm tempted to do is sell them to instead go hit Cagliari, because that's another 2,000 of fairly stable income. So let's take the fourth rate out of this dock here. Actually, that's no, probably what we want, actually. Let's take the galley out, put the fourth rate in. You guys march up to the local fishery. Embark. Take the fourth rate. Sail. Hit Sardinia. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fight that. I just want to make sure I do my admin correctly first. So you guys go join that fleet that's growing over there. You get back into Sirt. You are being taxed, but religious unrest should start going down soon. Let's pick up an iron workshop upgrade here. Upgrade the water power clothman in Spain because you're valuable to us. Let's upgrade this weaver's cottage because that's quite a cheap upgrade and not the farm yet. Let's go check over here. It's tempting to demolish this building and replace it with a government building. With a civil government building, considering we actually get quite a lot of tax out of this region. Um, I've got down here. Upgrade the governor's palace here at Paramaribo. Again, increase repression, increase taxes due, and let's start taxing you actually. That's two and a half thousand. Added. 32 grand. Quite a decent chunk of change. Okay, let's hop over to Europe. And let's go capture the city of Cagliari. I do not want to demand surrender because I don't want them to gain these troops back. It would be good. Good to march on Cairo, but it would I think it's too much of a wild card risk. War with us, but they are leaving us alone, which is what really what I want to see. Okay, let's drop the guns up here, because they're going to be staying there. Put our main infantry block on the right. Then on the left we can have our grenadiers and some infantry pushing through the town. Then our militia are going to be on our extreme right flank. Somewhere out of trouble where they can't do too much damage. Um, my heart is going to sit here as well under carcass shot. Desert warriors aren't terrible, but oh well. Okay, this can okay, strengthen the brigade on the right to do something more like that. Okay, the mortars inside the uh, the town are getting trashed. So let's send an infantry unit over there to destroy them as quickly as possible. While our infantry makes progress through the town itself. Uh, you guys do need to run. Cavalry is going to go through the centre like so. Artillery, bombard. Bombard their main forces. There we go. We may only be fighting with African native infantry who aren't as good as regular line infantry, but they are still good enough. Yeah, there they go. Their forces are broken. In comes some carcass shot mostly killing the already retreating men but we'll get some good hits on them back here are you guys firing no nope, you're not but still let's run our men into the town 
they've already recovered from their shock. And everyone else is making ready and pouring fire into them. Keep pushing up the lines. I do run my men a lot. <laughs> they, I do my men get very tired very quickly. So these men out here are actually going to want to walk because they need to get recover some stamina prior to engaging. Whoa, you guys get back. The African troops push up on the left side of the building. Are you guys charging my militia? Well, if you're not, you're in for a real problem. Because even at this distance, they can't miss. God damn. That's really good, actually. Actually, 27. That's not as accurate as my native African infantry, but not bad. Well, I mean, I say not bad. They were point blank, I suppose. targets. Two valleys slightly mistimed it. Especially as they're now... Okay, you need to hit the 109th Regiment of Militia, just as these Grenadiers shall. Artillery bombard. This, the 12th Regiment. Howitzers bombard. These guys that are remaining. Oh, I thought that was going to be a crash for a second there. Oh no, they are provincial line. So they're winded, my men are winded. But the Grenadier contingent should uh, balance things out. When the 46th get into position, they are going to unleash devastating firepower onto the 12th. There you go. All artillery focus on the 39th. Oh, they're shattered. So stop our artillery fire. Well, there they go. Garrison has been roundly outflanked and destroyed. And that provides quite, well, it's quite a safe local territory to capture. Because already Catholics, they're going to like us. Uh, you have two ships, so let's get the light galley. Let's get Bellerophon up to Alguero. I mean, so you sit there. 600. 600 cash turn. Well, I'm not going to complain about that, especially as we can actually improve. We can improve the silver mine and the vineyards. And it's actually got a, good, a commercial basin, which isn't a bad port. And we can upgrade the roads as well. That's pretty good. Yeah, but sadly we can't actually upgrade the uh, upgrade the roads. So let's not upgrade the roads. We can't repair the building. So let's repair those guys. We've got some very elite infantry up here now. Four chevrons apiece. Can't do anything over in the Americas. Can't do anything against Quebec yet. But we are probably going to lay siege to them. I might, I'm more likely, I think, to ship these guys up to here to help fight the French. Let's hit end turn. Especially capturing a region like Quebec, because that can provide quite a lot of... Oh, good. I'm glad their ships actually left, because that was a concern that I would have to fight two armies. And then we've got the eternity of the Prussians. They're in turn to go. 
Oh, they're moving navies into the med, which isn't good. Because those are navies we will have to fight. Oh no. That's not good. Who knew? Who knew that North Africa was such a critical territory for the Prussians? That's what they were desperately... They were waiting for me to give up Tunisia. Um, but I guess it's now on. At the very least, it's just Prussia that's fighting us. We're not at war with all of the major powers of... Well, we are with the, the Ottomans. Although what would be funny... If I gave the Ottomans back Tripoli... That might be a good idea. We've got national debt, which is excellent, but let's go. Okay, so they've landed here. It's not a very wealthy region. So I'm going to cancel the fishing fleet. I am going to, at some point, I think I probably want to attack this navy with my navy. I mean, I should win that. <laughs> Especially they've got a bunch of fifths. They've got lots of fourths, but we've got lots of fifths. Um, okay, let's repair you. Let's get you guys rebuilt. So now these guys have become much more critical, as has Tunis. So it gives us options. We could attack Rome. We could start to land, land in... Uh, this area of Europe, where they're actually, they may be more vulnerable. Um, but the important thing is, we are at war with the Prussians, and we are not at war with the Swedes. At the very least, we're trading with the Swedes. What I'm tempted to do is go, okay, Ottomans, let's peace out. Well, let's just try to get peace with them, actually. Counter offer, you want a region. Okay, what if I gave you Tripoli? And the reason why I've done that is because then that army has now teleported back to Rome. <laughs> oh, that army has a, that navy has a first rate in it. Um, okay, so let's take you and send you to. Hmm. There's nobody that immediately needs naval cover. Um, but now we're at, now we're at war with the Prussians. It does provide opportunities or provides incentive to actually we may as well push on to Paris and also grow this army into a full force, attacking the Balkans and hit them in Greece. Lots of interesting options. But I think, firstly, what I want to do is... Well, not quite this. Keep growing the garrison here. And I'm probably going to have to send you guys... Someone like that to march through and just start to bash these armies back towards back towards their capital. So let's get some upgrades. Eh, not two. Don't need two massive ports yet. Good, you're finished. So Mr. Minicello, move to Grand Bahama. Oh, you can't make it in one hop. That's frustrating. May as well upgrade you to a naval hospital. Well, actually, I need the money first. So, what we want to do, combine forces, We've got our guys in the port. Put Quebec under siege. Because you're making three three grandish a turn, which is pretty good. I could probably do with... Well, dropping these guys against Mexico would be useful, but then again, so would landing them here at Panama, because that would then trap all these forces here. I think that's probably what I'll do. Okay, let's upgrade the water mill here. Let's go back to Europe. 
and then right expansion in Britain is warranted I think let's get some more troops in London you guys can probably be reinforced to a full they do not have the don't have a great arsenal so you can't even build howitzers and steal your howitzers and march them up to madrid and you guys can work on recruiting i would like heavy cavalry but i can't get that till i recruit till i build the drill school so let's build the drill school and recruit some hussars then we've got a force that could be useful sparring against the french you may end up actually attacking Rome and providing an avenue of attack through here that they can focus on. Um, the uncomfortable thing I need to do is fight this navy. Uh, I mean, I know it shouldn't be uncomfortable. What I'm going to do is move Mr. D'Agostino. Move them within range in case it all blows up in my face. Move you up to about here. I want to try and fight away from this fleet down here because that's not a bad not a bad fleet really. But let's go fight. Oh no, they do get their reinforcing navy. I mean, I know we've not got a bad navy, but damn, those firsts are just so good. I know the fifths, the fifths aren't great. Ah. Oh. Oh. I'm probably going to have to fight it, and it's going to suck, because I'm going to lose, because I'm terrible. Um, well, we have to give it a go, because I can't, I don't think I can let these guys wander the map willy-nilly. Well, hopefully you guys will forgive me for fighting this. Uh, well, I've got to fight it, I suppose. I could auto it. The auto gods might favour me, but I might get smashed. Oh. i got to give it a go. I've got to fight it, whether or not I suck. Um, so, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for a, quite a serious battle here in the Mediterranean. Cheers, everyone.